Hey everyone. What, um, oh, it's really echoey here. What an awful day I've had. Um, you can see I'm not at home. No, I'm, I'm in this kind of area. Yeah, that's that's my bike. Yeah, uh, what an awful day I've had. Um, risk of getting away roughly where I live. Well, town. There's been a bus replacement service today to and from work and yeah, the bus broke down. So it just took getting on two hours to do a journey that normally takes 30 minutes on the train. Yeah. So, I'm now back in, well, I'm back at the station. So, now to get this bad boy off there. My bike, which is falling apart in bits and pieces. I'm not so working. My God, is it dirty. And get home. Please hope that this journey is smooth. So yeah, finally, home. I've literally just got home, that's why there's a red mark you can probably see there, and a bit sweaty. Red mark from the helmet and all that jazz. That was a nightmare. That's all I can say, it was an absolute nightmare. The journey that, um, well, upon leaving the office normally, say I leave the office at quarter past six, um, I'll be home about quarter past seven. Takes me about an hour, top hour and a half, maybe. I left the office today knowing that there was a problem with the trains at uh, about quarter past, twenty past five. Yeah, around about that, ten past, quarter past five. The time now is uh, coming up to ten to eight. Yeah, it's taken me... What's that? Uh, five, six, uh, five. Best part of two and two and a half hours to get home. Yeah, what a freaking nightmare! And to top it all off, I got a feeling I might have a puncture. Um, someone had lovely of them smashed a bus stop near by mine, and um, just. Didn't notice the bits of broken glass everywhere and red road straight through it. So, yeah. It's hard to tell because my wheel just feels spongy normally. So, I might not have got a puncture. I might have got away with it, but I don't know. Um, yeah. What a pig of a day. I mean, heck. I had no idea this stuff was going on until I got to the train station this morning to get to work. I got there to then find cancellation signs. Because I didn't know, well, I wondered why this morning when I got to the station, um, where we go to put the bikes in, you can see the platforms. And I wondered why there was lots of trains on the platform. Um, it did seem a bit odd. It wouldn't be the first time, though, that trains have just been sitting around on the platform. But it did seem a bit odd. That they were sitting there oh dear, on the platform um went to go and put my bike away in the storage area where i get a nice little candy key fob keep my bike safe and secure and all that stuff and that's where there's an information screen and it just said cancelled 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 then also had a text off my boss going are you you're gonna be, uh are you gonna be in uh have you gonna be in uh we really need you in today um and that's when I was like, crap, I need to find out what's going on. Found out, uh, found out about bus replacements and all that lot. Ended up texting him and saying, look, you know, I can only do what I can do. I will get in there as quick as I can. I ended up getting into work about almost an hour late because of the bus replacement and then connecting trains and all that jazz. And oh my God, yeah, sweaty patch. Sorry about that. <laughs> Not the most prettiest sights, but I've just been cycling. Um, yeah, almost an hour late, and yeah. Uh, I've been monitoring it all day, and that's when I found out about how their plans are for getting us back home. And yeah, got to uh, the station where, as far as the train could go on the way back um, for them to turn around and go, all right, you can get on this bus, but this is the all stations to enter Neymar City. Uh, it's going to take about an hour, hour and a half. 
or you can wait five, ten minutes and there'll be a coach that's going direct. I was like, okay, five, ten minutes, I'll wait for the direct. No skin off my nose, I'll make the time back and go and direct. Yeah. I'm kind of regretting not getting the direct coach now because that, uh, not getting the direct coach, should I say, uh, because we were pulling out the station and it was juddering. Like, I'm like, what, what? That's a bit weird. Thinking drivers being a bit eager or something. Um, got about 100 metres down the road. And then he's suddenly, it keeps happening and he pulls over and turns the engine off. And we're like, strange. So I was like, okay, perhaps he's got some sort of problem and he's hoping a restart will fix it. Started it up again. And blah, 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 again, it was like, oh dear God, please no. Drove on for a bit more like that and then eventually because he was about to get on to an a road um to get us back um he pulled over to try and properly sort it uh at this point some people were getting really grouchy on the coach i was just like look i just want to go home no point in the driver and his fault but some people are just idiots including the guy who decided to recline his chair on the coach that was full and smashed my knee while he did it now, I'm not the smallest of guys, but he was not a small guy. Let's put it that way. Um, yeah, what an idiot he was for doing that. Um, yeah. Some people got moody and then got off the coach because they were going to call a taxi and because they didn't want to wait for a replacement coach and all this kind of stuff. Uh, the driver then phoned his firm and they were like, oh, we're going to see if we can find another coach to come out and take your passengers on to their final destination. Hope it's not like that movie, but that's like the point. Um, they've all just got off, and then he decided to give it one go, and it just suddenly worked. We was on a magic bus. It just worked. It was great. Especially watching all the people who just got off and bitched and moaned and called a taxi and made a big thing about their hand to call a taxi to get back because blah, 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 and all that crap. And we just all left them sitting there while we pulled away on the coach. And it worked all the way back. Yeah. Just after all the stoppages and everything and waiting for the coach when we got to the other end, like to get on the coach, waiting for it to turn up and like that. And then the ride home from the station took a long time. But I'm home now. And this was an unplanned random vlog, but that's all idea of these things. They're they're random, hence the name random vlogs. Um I'm not gonna commit to a schedule on doing them or anything. It's literally something random or interesting or weird or just feel like getting something off my chest happens or comes to mind, then I'll do one of these vlogs to kind of talk about it. Um the only one I am kind of pre scheduling is I'm gonna do one for insomnia weekend because I'm hoping that's gonna be a massive amount of fun. Be my first insomnia uh and I can't wait. And there's Lund there's Tower Bridge. He uh, sorry. Both me and my wife love Tower Bridge. Uh hence we got I'm hand right got this picture because we love Tower Bridge. So yeah, um <laughs> random divergent I just saw Tower Bridge I was like Tower Bridge. Anyway, uh yeah I'm going to be doing one for insomnia. I'm going to try and do some sort of video of probably weekend at insomnia. Uh, might do little random odd shot videos halfway through because they're going to have a nice, hopefully fast internet connection there. Um, just editing at a LAN party. Maybe a bit interesting. My laptop's not really powerful enough to do it. Um, and yeah. So until the next video, uh, until the next randomness happens, um, see you around. Bye.